Hi folks, it's Max from GalaxyS4Root.com. Today I'm going to show you how to uh, unroot your Galaxy S4 uh, back to completely back to stock. Now you can do this on any Galaxy S4. I've got the T-Mobile here, um, the International GTI 9500. I've got the uh, AT&T version. Um, you just need to download uh, the correct stock firmware. And uh, let me show you how to do it. Now before we start unrooting, um, the method I'm going to show you will erase everything, everything in your internal storage, uh, everything, it's not going to touch your SD card, but just take your micro SD card when you do it, just in case, and uh, do make a backup of everything in your internal storage. Now, if you don't want to erase everything, you can try, um, you know, if you're coming from a stock ROM, uh, or, you know, you just want to go back to the stock ROM, then you can try um, without doing a factory reset, uh, you can skip that step. But um, you might be in the state called soft break where it will not boot. Um, then you'll have to do it anyways, uh, which will erase everything. So I do suggest making a backup. Um, this is really a method for getting your phone back to completely stock. Um, also great for returning your phone for warranty. Uh, before we begin, if you have a rooted uh, Galaxy S4, um, do run Triangle Away app, which will reset your binary counter to zero before we begin. And uh, if you don't want to erase your whole internal storage and you have Clockwork Mod or uh, Twerp Recovery installed, you can just do a factory reset there and just do the unroot process and skip the uh, factory reset at the end of the video, which I'll do. Um, so there you have it. Uh, let's go ahead and unroot it. I've got the Sprint version here. And uh, let me show you settings here. And I'm simply going to uh, flash the stock firmware, which is available as of this video. And I'll be updating my site uh, as you know as more firmwares are available. So first thing you'll do is put it into download mode. All right, and I'm going to go ahead and power off download mode. And uh, you should have ran Triangle Away app. Um, I don't think it supports Galaxy S4 at the moment of the video, but I know Chainfire, developer of that app, will update it um, probably you know within by the time you see this video if it's you know more weeks. Uh, anyway, go ahead and hold down the volume down button there and also center home and the power button. So I'm going to go ahead and hold down volume down, center home, and the power button. All right. And give it a second here. And let go of all the buttons when you see the warning screen and hit volume up. And that will get you into download mode, right? Uh, we're going to go ahead and connect a USB cable um, to your computer. All right, and let's go to our computer. Next, go ahead and go to my site, galaxyS4root.com. If you go to Galaxy S4 stock firmware at the top here, um, currently I only have the Sprint version firmware for the US, but I'll have all the US and Canadian versions listed here. And for GTI 9505 or GTI 9500, I'll show you how to do this. You can go to samfirmware.com. So I'm going to go to Sam. Uh, firmware.com and uh, go ahead and search for device uh, enter your model number GT let's say i9500 and uh, you'll see a bunch of firmware go make sure find the right country let's say you've got your phone in uh, Argentina and go ahead and download the Argentina one and also check the version you want to download check for the date there might be a couple of them and download the latest one um, so go ahead and download it and uh, this will direct you to the hot file where you can download it. Uh, it's, you know, it's a big file, so make sure you have enough time. Make sure you're on Wi-Fi. Go ahead and download it. Um, for US models, you can download it here. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and download it from stockroms.net. And once it's downloaded, um, go ahead and unzip it. So let me go to my, my download folder. So let's say I did download it, and I've got the uh, stock firmware here. And I'm going to go ahead and click it and extract all files. All right, extract all files and go ahead and extract it. And this should take you like additional a minute or two. And another thing you'll need is uh, Odin and also you'll need, uh, you'll need to have drivers installed. But most likely if you root it using my method at galaxyS4root.com, you've already installed Samsung USB drivers. But I'll have the links on my website if you need it. And also Odin, if you, uh, if you root it, my, uh, if you don't have it, go ahead and download it on my site. Um, I'll have the links and uh, once you download Odin 
Um, go ahead and unzip it, and you get a folder with uh, Odin 3 V185 like that. And go ahead and run it, all right? And just say yes. And uh, if you see this yellow highlighted box, that means you have your Samsung drivers installed. If you don't have it, go to my site. I'll have a link in the description. I'll go there and download the Samsung USB drivers. And then uh, unplug and plug your phone back in uh, using the USB cable. And uh, we're simply going to choose PDA. Don't touch anything else. We're going to point at the file we're extracting right now. And that's pretty much it. So this is the file right here. Um, so it's going to end in .tar.md5. Um, so this is for my Sprint version. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, choose it. All right. So I'm going to go back to Odin here. Choose PDA. And I'm going to go to my download folder. And I'm going to find the folder where I unzipped it. And I'm going to find the tar file here, tar.md5. Now, if you have um, the extensions turned off, it might not show. But it's pretty much going to look like something like this, blah, blah, home.tar.md5. Um, go ahead and open. That's the only thing you got to do. And uh, hit start. And this will unroot um, your phone back to completely stock, all right? And uh, let it sit for a while. And it's going to set up connection. Now, if you have a trouble, sometimes it will hang and stuff when you just install the drivers. If it hangs, just turn it off and uh, um, turn on Odin off if it hangs for more than like 30 seconds. And what you can do is uh, unplug your phone and plug it into another USB port. If that doesn't work, um, try taking the battery off uh, your phone and put it into download mode again and also put it into another USB port. That usually fixes those errors. It happens to me all the time when I use a new laptop to install Odin and the drivers. Um, so you just have to try another USB port. And also don't use a USB hub if you're using one. Uh, that's one of the things that can go wrong. And also kill any keys. Um, if, if there's any keys running in your uh, task manager, um, go ahead and turn it off. Keys, there you go, I have it actually. I'm, I'm not gonna cancel it because it's in the middle of it. But um, that sometimes can interfere. Uh, that I think that pretty much covers everything. And yeah, um, that's pretty much it. But I'm going to go ahead and let this run through. And we'll skip all this. Um, so you don't, you don't have to listen or you don't have to uh, watch this forever. But it should take another 10 minutes or so. Uh, I'm going to go actually go have a smoke outside. And uh, it should be done when I come back. Now, if you see pass here, uh, everything's done, and uh, your phone should have rebooted. Let me change the camera angle real quick, and uh, let's go do this. Now, my phone has rebooted. Um, I still have all my apps and settings. That is because I had a stock uh, rooted phone, and I simply flashed uh, the same stock firmware. And uh, do I have super user still? No, super user is gone now. So it's completely back to stock. Um, from here, you can just use your phone uh, if you're just trying to get it back to stock ROM. Uh, but uh, if you're coming from a custom ROM or maybe AOSP ROM, it might even not boot. So for that, let me show you how to do it. Um, if you're stuck on boot loop, let me go ahead and uh, show you how to fix that. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, there we go. take the cover off. I'm going to imagine it's stuck on boot loop. Uh, then you can do a factory reset. Now, like I told you in the beginning of the video, this is going to erase everything in your internal storage. So take your micro SD card out just in case. Uh, I don't think it touches it, but just in case. And uh, go ahead and put it back in. And hold down volume up, center, and power button together until you see the logo. And when you see the logo here, let go of the power button, but keep holding down the volume up and the center home button. And when you see that recovery booting at the top, let go of the two buttons. And you can put the cover back on if you want. And you'll enter these, this uh, stock recovery here. All right. And let me go ahead and zoom in real quick so you can see a little bit better. Um, here, what you want to do is uh, go down to 
Uh, there we go. White data factory reset. This will erase everything on your internal storage. This will, you know, uh, pretty much reset everything back to stock. You, you know, no trace of everything, anything. Uh, your personal files, videos, everything gone zipped. Um, so this will finalize your unrooting process. Go ahead and say yes. And it's going to format data. It's also uh, going to clear your internal storage and uh, pretty much everything. And if you're stuck on boot loop, if you do this and reboot system now, go ahead and hit uh, power button. Um, you'll be completely back to stock the, 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 day, <laughs> the day you got it. Sorry. I'm trying to get too excited. Too much coffee. I've had two, three big cups of coffee already. And there we go. And uh, I'll show you that my phone has been reset it uh, back to completely stock. All right. And that's how you can unroot. Um, now, if you just root it without custom recovery, you can also use the uh, universal unroot method. But this is a sure method that will work. Uh, but uh, you do need Odin. Um, you can also use Heimdall, but I don't recommend it as much. Um, if you have a Mac or Linux, I do recommend uh, running like VMware um, and also running Odin. Uh, Windows inside your uh, Linux or Mac and also there is a program you can use without computer called mobile Odin Pro um, that you can flash uh, on your phone then you won't uh, you don't need a uh, computer which I'll show you uh, how to do that also in the future and uh, by the time you see this video I might actually have that and I'll have links in my you know descriptions and my on my website if that is the case and uh, um, that mobile Odin Pro, it'll take some time for Chainfire, the developer of that ROM, to update that app to support the, all the Galaxy S4s. Um, but by the time you see this video, it might be in the works. Um, so, just telling you, uh, more options uh, if you don't have a Windows computer. Uh, but you know, the great thing about Samsung devices, as you can see here, you can completely unroot um, you know completely back to stock no trace of root if you use triangle away app um, and also that is in the works and by the time you see this video it might be um, uh, done so there you go I've got completely back to stock and uh, I hope you enjoyed this video now you can return your phone to uh, for warranty or sell it or whatever you want to do and uh, if this video has helped you unroot your Galaxy S4 um, don't forget to share this with your friends on Twitter Facebook or Google Plus uh, next time they need help and also hit that like button for me subscribe button down there and if you have a galaxy s4 um, don't forget to sign up for my email list at uh, galaxy s4 root.com uh, we update you once a week with rom of the week tip sacks and more and also yeah that's about it stay high on android uh, have fun all right see y'all later